Hi guys, welcome to our first episode of I don't even know what I'm doing. If you like the content of this video, make sure to check out other videos on my channel. I will post three videos minimum every week about gaming, product review, or how-tos. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. Other than that, let's get our video started. So last year, NVIDIA launched the RTX 3080, which was a super powerful card that beat the previous King RTX 2080 Ti with a much lower price. And it actually performs much better than the RTX 2080 Ti in games with 4K resolution. Everything seems so good so far. Everyone wants to get one on hand. People sold their RTX 2080 Ti for cheap. I mean, really, really cheap. And then we think we were ready for it. But the reality punches our face just like that. The RTX 3080 sold out in about literally just 15 seconds. Most of the cars were bought by the robots and there were only about 1% of us who were lucky and got it. And the rest of us were just sad. And after 4 months later, I thought everything will be fine now. But actually it turns out that things are still in a pretty bad situation where the people still can't get a RTX 3070 or RTX 3080 or even an RTX 3090. You just can't get one on hand that easily. I checked on a few websites and it seems like none of those has inventory to fulfill our need. For example, New Egg, I checked it and then guess what? 3070? Boom all gone everything is out of stock everything 3080 same thing everything is out of stock everything and 3090 you betcha still out of stock and then i check on best buy it's still the same thing sold out everything is sold out everything got bought by those freaking robots okay but there's still some way that you can get a rtx 3000 series car actually for example if you had the money you can go for ebay it literally costs twice the price on the official website okay and 3080 that's like above thousand dollar easily the cheapest one i see on ebay right now twelve hundred dollars and also on amazon everything is sold out instead of there's a few rtx 3080 that you can get which is 1400 1500 okay but don't panic if you still wants to have an rtx 3000 series that bad and you don't want to spend that much money just on one component guess what here is another way that you can go around which is to go for the pre-build okay the first pre-build that i found for you guys is alienware pcs there are so many pros and cons about Alienware PCs. The pros is always the performance and the look of it. And the cons is always the price. And some people may say they don't use the best components. They always use the cheap one. And at some point, I agree with that because they do use some cheap components in this high-end PC. For example, those fans, they're cheap, but you can always upgrade them. This is the way that you can get a RTX 3000 card with the price range. That makes sense. For example, if you want a 3080, you can go this build with a 10th gen Intel Core i7 and 700K and 16 gigabyte RAM. With $2,500 but that price is not a final price you can always bargain with alienware.com you can check out my other video for how to get the most discount when you shop for alienware pc and also there's another website that has the rtx 3000 series card available which is this one the nzxt build okay so you can get rtx 3080 3070 or 3090 on this pre-built pc too and the price range is not that high either is it for this one for example $2,200 and you got i9 9900k and 3080 and 16 gigabyte of ram and one terabyte of m2 ssd and that's pretty good deal so these are the two websites that i got for you guys right now that has the stock for rtx 3000 series card and there are more websites that sold preview pcs but they don't have the stock to fulfill for the rtx 3000 cards and hopefully nvidia can fix the problem soon so each one of us wants an rtx 3000 card and have one on hand but you can always wait for the next gen maybe the rtx 3080 s 3080 super or maybe rtx 4080 because it's almost four months so 
I bet they're gonna send out some fighter cars in the near future. And that is pretty much everything for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like the content of our first episode of I don't even know what I'm doing. And if you do like the content, make sure to check out my other videos on my channel. I will post three videos minimum every week about gaming, product review, and how to's. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell, then you don't miss anything. And as always, please be safe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.